Welcome back to Mastering Kingdom Master. Today we are going to do one of the coolest tutorials. We're going to learn about blending modes. What's blending modes? See these stars passing by? I am not in the shadow of the star field. And check it out, is the Kingdom Master wheel is smiling at you now. All the stuff going on behind me is mainly related to blending modes. Now a blending mode is technically a layer on top interacting with the layers below using light and color values, but that's really technical. You can think of it as just making really cool stuff, light color and layers. But more as we get into it. Remember, like and subscribe, and let's get ready to have some ideas put into your head. And yes, that was blending modes again. So join me on the other side for one of the most cool, interesting, and useful tutorials that you're going to have out of all of the ones that I've done. See you on the other side. First of all, this is not an introductory tutorial. You need to know about layers and clips and a decent amount of KineMaster, so get out there, learn something, and come back when you're ready. If you're still here, I'm gonna tell you that this is the pathway to creating awesome intros, things that are like making your own KineMaster clip elements, but they're totally on your own. Creativity is the only limitation you have with this. Now I'll show just a basic example with the mechanics of it, the how-to, and I'll explain it afterwards. I have added a layer that is from the overlay department here, and it is a crowd silhouette. And I'll explain why that's useful later, but for the basic mechanics, it has to be a layer because it's a layer interacting with the layers below it. And we go ahead and you'll see that blending shows up in this menu. We click on this, and now we have the crowd silhouettes again uh, selected, and you can see that when I click over, Wow, you can see the shark swimming through the silhouettes of the people. If I click multiply, it's a different effect. It's see-through in part and not see-through in other parts, and I'll explain that in a bit. And screen is kind of flipped. The opposite is that some of the people are really bright, and then some of the people are kind of not even there. Um, soft light, hard light, lighten, darken, and color burn, they all do different things. And I'm gonna explain the reason for light for uh, overlay multiply and screen and not the rest, but again, a lot of it is experimentation, making your own, knowing now that it's here and making your own stuff, that's halfway through it. But I do wanna explain and show you another cool example with text, so stick around for the next part. I've added this graphic that is just a black bar, a middle gray 50% bar, and a white bar to show you about how overlay, multiply, and screen work and why you might think this through. So every pixel on any screen has black and white and color. So the black and white level is anywhere from full black to absolute white. And overlay, multiply, and screen take this value and they do something with it. And I'm just gonna show you by example. So if I put it on overlay, you'll notice that everything is transparent. So you can see through all blacks, whites, and grays, but you'll notice that the white lightens things up and the black darkens things, but it's still always transparent. So overlay is always gonna be transparent. If you use multiply your blacks, you'll notice is entirely not transparent, okay? So if you want to knock something out, but leave something else showing through, then you add black to your content, blacken up your content, increase the contrast, and it will, any place where it's 100% black, it will completely block it out. And you might not have totally noticed because of the graphic, but the white is entirely transparent in multiply mode. And this is very useful. So 100% white becomes entirely transparent in multiply mode. Screen is the opposite. Screen lightens things up. And then anywhere where it's 100% white, it's going to 100% block it out. And you may have already guessed this, but in screen mode, black becomes entirely transparent. So again, overlay everything is always going to it's going to be transparent in some form or other multiply the blacks are going to get blocked out and screen the whites are going to get blocked out i hope i explain that in a way that's not too complicated i'm not going to do colors today there's going to be a second video about that now we're going to move forward and do something really cool with text and wrap it up 
A really cool place to use blending modes is with text. So see our sharks. It's a advertisement for an aquarium. I've set this text up on purpose with a black text and a white outline and using a relatively bold font. So it looks kind of boring right now, but let's go ahead and hit the blending mode on it. And we can see right away if we overlay, then we see all the fish swimming around as we saw in our sample before. And the you'll notice is that in overlay, so the black is picking up a dark blue and the white is making it into a light blue through the blues in the background. All right, let's go ahead and go though to back for a second so you can see that the black is on the inside and the white's on the outside. Check this out, screen knocks out the black part and you get an outline font that you can see through, which I think is really kind of cool and kind of Star Wars-y. Um, and you see, and it animates in and the animations work with the blending modes that you have set on there. Uh, I wanna show you something else kind of interesting that I did in here. And this is just a, a setup for the project, but if I apply um, a background color to this, and I've already set this to be a gray background. Now that looks pretty boring by itself, um, and you wouldn't use that normally because you're blocking out everything from the aquarium. Uh, but then I go back into my blending modes again, and I set my blending mode to multiply. And then my, the one that I really like is overlay. Um, and I just think that that looks kind of cool, but that's just me. It again is how you can be creative. So using this with text is I think it's a really, really great use of it. I'm gonna go in and click on here and just again, as I'm not gonna talk about the reasons or the math or anything behind soft light, hard light, and um, um, you know what? It doesn't look that great in any of these, uh, but again, they're, they're worth clicking on. I, I find myself not using them as much. I think that maybe uh, color burn looks kind of cool in here, um, but you know, feel free to check it out because it is there and available for you to use. All right, I hope I got you interested in using blending modes and make sure to come back for part two. It's gonna be out real soon, but hope I gave you enough to try and get your feet wet with what I've shown you so far. Remember, if you like my content, please like and subscribe so you'll know when to come back to see the second part of the show about blending modes. If you have any questions, I'm really good about answering people's questions and concerns, ideas, thoughts, everything. Get out there and make some awesome content with the best mobile video editing platform out there, KineMaster. See you next time. KineMaster.